have been going through some bad times. You're making me nervous. The only hurdle we're gonna have today is those panels are pretty big. So what I think I can do is tie a long rope and use the truck as a weight and do a ratchet strap to pull that small kink out. What's up guys, welcome back. We are continuing on with our massive pergola that we are building and this episode is gonna be really exciting because we're getting into a little more of the decorative side of it. Tell them what we're doing today. We are <laughs> gonna be starting on our roof, but before we have to get the final panels up and some of the final structural up for the roof, uh, Kristen has this prettier idea that she wants to do because she's like, I don't want to be lounging on my porch just looking directly up at metal. She said it's a beautiful vibe, metal's cool and all, but it's just not what I'm going for. So she has an extra little step that we're going to do that's had a couple little, um, you know, interesting decisions we've had to make along the way. We've changed some coloring, we've changed some layering. So, you know, it hasn't been just as easy as buying it from the store and stapling it up but I think it's gonna add a lot to it. It's gonna look really good and it only added a little bit to the workload. So what you can see here next to me is six foot, uh, what we've been calling thatch, but it's actually reed fencing. I don't know the difference between thatch and reed fencing, but Kristen said that this would look good. We're doing a galvanized metal roof, but we are going for a rustic finish, but we don't want it to be quite that rustic. The metal roof, you know, not the aesthetic we're going for, but so Kristen came up and said, this is a lighter material. It's not terribly expensive. She thinks bang for buck, it'll make a very big difference in the overall looks. And I am inclined to agree with her. Um, this is kind of a yellowish tan. Kristen said it'd be cooler if we stained it, um, and I agree with her. I think it did look a lot better, and it's going to be Sounds pretty. Sounds like you've been agreeing with me a lot. This your, is a surprise. It's, your, it's her birthday month, so we don't <laughs> agree with her no matter what. We do the work the way she says. We do it all her way. But yeah, I think it looked good, and so now we just have to get it up there, get it rolled out, um, and get it pinned down. We have some, I don't know what they are, U-shaped nails. I'll look on the package and see what the actual name is, but they're basically giant staples. I gotta get up there, get it laid out and staple it in, and then we're layering it up two layers so it's nice and thick and not see-through. And then we'll be able to go ahead with some boards and finish up with our roof. I want the roof, everything under, under out of the rain this weekend, I wanna get it done. So we just got to finish stapling this in. We're trying to get away with not doing that back area so we could save money, but we'll see how yeah, that we're, goes. We're still in the design. We may be able, because in the front we have to do like all that pretty much because there's no, we need more. I yeah. just realized that earlier. But we might be able to cut these pieces off and use them up there. 
Okay. We'll see. We're going to double layer it too. Yeah, to really not see the metal. It's just too thin. Just too thin one layer. just got our delivery of the metal aluminum roofing panels and now we need to really get into action. We got all of our supplies so we got nothing holding us back. We have to continue putting up the reed on the top. It's looking good so far. As you saw we got two areas done. It doesn't look like it's sagging or anything. We like the two layers and you got anything to say before we get into work to fully finishing i think it looks good i think everything's going pretty well the only hurdle we're gonna have today is those panels are pretty big they're 24 feet long by uh three feet wide so they're not outrageously big they're just awkward they're large to handle i have to take them about 12 feet high so i gotta get up there that could be the only issue that could be the only thing that maybe ends up taking me twice as long to get them up there as I think, so that could hold us back today. But aside from that, we're just putting down some four by fours to nail them into and should go pretty straightforward. Everything here should be pretty, pretty simple. It's coming out, the modern pergola is coming out. Does it feel like a tropical oasis? Yeah, Puerto Rican house <laughs> with a K. We decided begrudgingly to get off of our wallets for 10 minutes and just put the reed on the entire structure. It was only like another, what was it, 200 bucks to do all of that because we had the, the front was completely open. Initially, we just wanted to do the half that you would see walking up, but we decided people have these cool new things called legs and they usually walk all the way around <laughs> stuff and they are gonna see all of it. So we said, let's just spend the money, get it all the way done so that it looks good. Uh, I'm using this staple lure as a temporary um, to hold it down because it's a lot easier. Those hammered staples are a little small, so when I'm trying to hold this, nail it, and do the whole thing at one time, my stupid fingers don't really work too good. So this helps, and then I can hold it and nail it down a lot easier. So we're getting the final read up on this side, and then we should be able to construct this panel and rip it. Now it's ready to move forward with my four by fours. I'm gonna put several out there so I can use them as like walking boards so that I can get that first one nailed down. And then as I do them in sequence, I, everything should get more and more stable and I should be able to be able to move much more safely.
You're making me nervous. Okay, so I'm attempting to fix a problem that I encountered here. I don't know if it's the right way to do it, but I've been mulling it over for a couple days and it seems like it might be the right way to do it. So what happened with our lumber is we had an eight by eight sent to us and everything looked great, but there was one eight by eight that was twisted. It had a pretty good twist on it. It was about a one inch twist. So I'd say about right there, you know, when on one corner it was sitting up a one inch from the boards that it was laying on. So the lumber yard is two hours away. I would have lost a lot of time getting them to go in and out and bring me back this big lumber that I can't get with my truck. It's all the way at the Capitol. So I decided in my dummy brain, I can just get it up there and I'll be able to power bolt it down and make it flat, which I did. I was able to do, but what I thought was happening was that I was twisting that board down to make it flat and make everything perfect but what i was really doing was just twisting that board and the board didn't shape shift at all the board just kept the same twist that it had and it twisted my post at the top so what i have now is a little kink it's about a one inch kink it's nothing huge um probably could just move forward with the way that it goes now but my issue is i think when i put my metal roofing panels on if that top has that little kink in it, it's going to make issues with making that structural. So what I think I can do is tie a long rope and use the truck as a weight and do a ratchet strap to pull that small kink out. And then when I do attach all my panels, I think that that will true it up and make it, you know, a lot stiffer to where that kink won't come back into it. It'd be kind of like nailing, you know, when you're building a roof, the trusses can move a little bit, but once you put all the plywood on there the plywood squares it sucks everything together and makes it one solid piece so i'm hoping that happens with my roof panels and that's how i'm going to fix this Yeah, that's a million times better. That's perfect now. All right, so I got it pulled tight now. Everything's squared up. Now I'm going to be able to finish. I know today I can get those first two sections done if the weather stays good. And then once all of the paneling is screwed in, it should tighten everything up and keep it all together.
All right, so it got rained out pretty hard yesterday. There's puddles all over the floor, but it's sunshine and beautiful today. I did get a lot of work done. I worked in the rain, but we couldn't film because we don't have waterproof cameras out here. Um, I did get the supports for the metal sheets up there on one side. So I'm gonna start moving some metal up there so that I can have a bigger walk space to work on. It's gonna be safer for me, obviously. Will it get hot? It will eventually get hot. I mean, it's already starting to creep up there, but as you guys know here on this channel, I'm safety first. So I gotta make myself a safe walkway to be able to move forward with this project. Do you have a plan? Yep. <laughs> this is already sounding like not a great plan. What the heck is that? I farted. It's these pipes breaking. Oh. All right, y'all, before y'all get going bucky in the comments, because it's a 24-foot piece of uh, galvanized there, and say, well, I'm crazy, can't help put the goddamn thing on the tripod. Don't talk about my wife like that, first of all. If we're friends here on this channel, don't talk down on my wife, okay? And, for, and second of all, she makes the videos for y'all can be a part of this with us. If she got to put the camera down, it's going to get real boring, and we ain't going to get everything on tape, just like we did in yesterday. So I don't do none of the filming. I do the hard labor. She does the money making. We're a team here. So when we say we, Kristen gonna say we put these panels on today. And you know what? We did, because we're a team. Ooh. All right, so those panels went up real easy. I was nervous about them because they're just big and awkward, four feet by 24 feet. But with the angle, I think them being a little longer actually helped because you could get them leaned up and throw them all up there all from the floor. I don't have to be on a ladder holding that, which I was concerned about doing. So those go up real simple. Um, they're easy to handle once you are up there. Um, so I think that that's gonna work out really, really well for me. I got a couple more to put up there before I have this first section completed. And we did double of the reed. We double layered the reed so you really can't see the metal. If you stare at it, you can obviously see there's something behind it, but it uh, darkened it up a little bit so everything looks really clean, really uniform. I love that look. That looks really nice. 
So I'm happy. I'm hoping I can get, if the weather cooperates with me today, I'll be able to probably get this job knocked out and hopefully get it done. We have been going through some bad times. Matt got an injury, his eye, ah, ants. There's been a lot of ants, there's been a lot of rain, now the ants are all in the grass. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Matt got a little injury to his eye, something, some kind of dirt particle was like stuck in the surface of it. Yeah, so. a dirt particle or a little piece of that bamboo reed got in there. It was small, but it was giving me um, issues with like how bright it was the next day. It, it was, was lodged in the surface I saw. Yeah, it was kind of blinding and I was wearing glasses but that stuff just blows around so I know I know I'm a bad boy and I don't do my safety stuff so listen guys here's my contingencies on that. I'll do some safety glasses I don't care about the prices are 10 grand it's cheaper than an eye. I need glasses that don't fog don't let stuff fly around the outside don't drip water because when i'm bending over drilling something the water from my eyebrows drips sweat. inside yeah sweat it's not the water from my eyebrows it's sweat <laughs> thank you Kristen. um that goes on there so tell me the best the world's number one safety goggles that don't fog don't sweat don't let stuff in and i will buy two pairs of them and wear them all the time because all the ones i get are just awful and they never work for me and i end up you know where i can't really see and i feel like i'm in more danger than if i just don't wear the glasses so sorry everyone i know i'm a bad boy recommend your favorite you know safety glasses in the comments below send a link or something and i will purchase them because i lost a whole day of work that yeah. day and then it rained flooding crazy rain there's a big storm here you know it's like a thunderstorm tropical thunderstorm it's not a hurricane or anything but it's just a big massive rain Maker. Every day it's raining and we haven't been able to get to work. So today it's sun's finally shining. We're going to try to do as much as we possibly can and hope the rain stays away. And hopefully this is the end of it. Hopefully this is the end. <laughs> so one of the things I really underestimated about this project was I didn't really consider how difficult it was going to be working 13 feet in the air um, for the entirety of the structure. It takes some time getting used to. I finally coerced Kristen into coming up the ladder and helping me out here with some of these uh, metal screws. She was ripping it. She lines it up with the tape so that she can get a straight line and get all the screws looking nice and pretty. She's uh, got OCD that way, so she was very particular about getting the screws straight. I was working on this thatch. That was another thing that took way more time than I initially planned. I thought it would be a simple as throwing down the roll, unrolling it and stapling it. But as you can see, once you put it down, you remove your catwalks. You're no longer able to access the other side. So I had to go across with the ladder to finish the other side. It wasn't super fun um, doing this because Kristen really worries about me falling off and getting hurt all the time. So she really didn't enjoy watching me tiptoe out on this couple of four by fours. She definitely thought I was going to die, so she decided to stop helping and say, I can't watch it work like this. And you know what? I preferred it. It's okay to work alone here and there. But here I am up the ladder again. Um, I probably went up and down the ladder three to four hundred times during this project, so I lost a few hours simply climbing. This last 
bit of read gave me so many problems I had to completely roll it out and then as you can see here I'm completely rolling it back up again and getting it out of the way because it had rained and it soaked up a lot of the water so it was really really hard to work with and it just kept falling down I was only able to get one side at a time it's really important to get the reeds um, straight that's another thing that takes time it's a small detail if you ever try to do this to get the reeds straight because on the inside they are boxed in and you can tell when they're crooked and it looks kind of wild so this is my makeshift scaffolding i only do this when kristen isn't looking and believe me when she edited this she cussed me out pretty hard um, but she said you could just slide right off to your dust and to your doom but i said look kristen we had to get it done we didn't have all day so yeah this went pretty smooth and the four boards with the scrap piece of galvanized worked really well for being able to move around a lot quicker stapler also helped me go pretty quick um, i was using three quarter staples when i had doubled up the reed and that worked really really well okay so i'm finishing up the last little scraps here worked out really well um, you were able to stretch this back part that we're not going to see as much. It's a little bit thinner, but overall the way it catches the eye works out really well. Now I'm putting in my boards. Another thing I wish I had done um, after this entire project was done was get a impact driver. It would have saved me a ton of time um, with the lag bolts, putting them down. I basically screwed them in halfway with my drill and then I would hand tighten them down with a wrench. It was good in a way though, because I didn't break any bolts and I was able to really cinch them up to a, a good pressure. I was happy about that. So, but when you have to turn hundreds of bolts, it can get pretty old. Uh, here's my big panels. I used the 24 footers and another conflict I had was that these were about 25% more than the next size down of steel thickness, the gauge. Um, but I went ahead and bought the thickest gauge they had and also the most expensive because I was trying to do this under the buy once cry once mentality and also I wanted this to lend itself to the structure not only just to waterproof the the roof so I wanted it to be really really strong and it actually did help me out a lot and the panels once they were all screwed in really trued everything up nice and it's pretty solid. All right, the roof is finally on. We do, we are short a few screws, so we still gotta do some screwing with that. <laughs> still gotta do some screwing with that. But it is pretty much done. Luckily the rain let up for us today and Matt worked pretty much all day. I feel bad for him and <laughs> he did a lot of hard work. Are don't, you tired? Don't feel sorry for me. I'm fine. I'm all right, you know. <laughs> Work hard, play hard. I don't know when we're we gonna play hard. I guess my sister's this weekend, vacation. Maybe? Oh, I thought we already played hard and now I'm making up for it. Either way, yeah, we worked hard today, but we got it done. We're now out of the rain, which is good. The cats have been really liking it, um, being able to come back under the porch again when it rains, so they're loving life there. The little bit of, um, I don't even know what it was called. I'm a little tired, so I'm, I'm a little shot on finding the terms but that little kink that I had in the frame um, when I pulled it out with the truck and put the panels on that did shore it up it's still maybe like a quarter inch out but that's fine you're not going to see that a quarter inch and 36 feet so that came out really good I was happy about that the panels made a big deal uh, those 24 foot panels were a little hard to work with I could have got two 12s and laid them over but I just think those 24s look a lot better one solid straight clean piece looks real good less likely to leak i'd say and probably a little more structural as well so it was good i was hyped about that and then although if i would have got the two 12s i could have overlapped them in a way that i wouldn't have to make that cut that i'm gonna have to make now but i don't care i don't mind making the cut because i never i never know what size my buildings are gonna be <laughs> when i build them so i just don't cut anything until it's at the very last second then i cut it off but the reed came out really well. Um, I have a little more stuff to do with that, trying to staple it up a little bit just to, because with all the rain, it's soaked up a lot of water, so it's kind of heavy. So it bellies a little bit, but I think with my beams that go across, or my purlins maybe is what they're called, um, I can staple up and you won't see the staple. They're 12 feet high. You'll never see the staple and it'll hold everything up nice and 
all nice and pretty like so kristen's happy she said i made her pinterest dreams come true it she looks just like my pinterest board. she said it's superseding my expectations and she said we're gonna make it look even much more cooler so uh i'm you know excited about that and i'm it's a little top heavy so i'm concerned about that it's not crazy but I do believe I could tear it down with my hands if I had to get buck wild. And I mean, I'm a super savage, though. But we have some bracing going in. We have some plans. And then it's engineered as well to where I can put the knee bracing in at the top if I have to. Um, I built it in a way that I could easily get to that and do that. That's why I um, stacked the lumber on top of each other so I'd have a little space. So I could get in there with like a carriage bolt and put those uh, knee knee braces in if I have to. So I don't want to do that. That's not really the look that gets a little more farmhouse. And you know, we're looking a little more Mykonos, Grecian stuff. So um, we have that going, but yeah, before you come at me in the comments, say it's going to fall over, baby boy. Don't worry about it. We got no hurricanes coming today and I can just- Not today. I can, la I can ratchet strap it to the floor if I need to. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you think it looks as cool as we do and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.